Today we're talking about baby electronic sites. It is the Swamp Fox Sentinel M. Are you ready? Stand by. Welcome back to the Humble Marksman channel. I'm David and I'll be your guide in pursuit of practical pistol proficiency. On deck today is one of the baby electronic sights. It is the Swamp Fox Sentinel M. Now this is the first optic review I've done since entering my world class era of firearms content. So I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. On the gun reviews, I don't like to tell you the specs of the things because all the other gun reviews tell you the specs of the things. Like you can look at it, you can look at the website if you're interested. But uh, the red dots, it's, it's a little bit different. So I think I'll go over the specs of what we're talking about. I'll go over the housing and the form factor of the dot. We'll talk about the glass and the dot itself. Then we'll talk about the adjustments of the dot and then bring it home with some final thoughts on the thing. But before we go a lot further, hey YouTube, this is a gun that was designed to be used with electronic sights and we're talking about an electronic sight that goes on this gun. The gun is unmodified. You're not gonna believe me when I tell you that, but it's the truth. We are talking about the electronic sight, but the gun is unmodified, so let it happen. Uh, these videos don't do great, and these sights, uh, I mean, ammo's expensive now, and the sights are uh, not exactly cheap. This was sent to me by the good people over at Swamp Fox for review, so full disclosure, now you know. I don't have to say anything nice or whatever, but these kind of videos don't do well with, due to how YouTube does their algorithm. So if you would be so kind as to like and subscribe this, to this channel, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, if you give me 1,000 likes on this video within a week, I will make a video comparing the Swamp Fox Sentinel M to the Romeo Zero to the Hollow Sun 507K. I have all three of these dots in my possession and experience with all of them now, but I'm gonna make independent videos. All of those videos have to get a thousand likes within a week for me to make that video. Check out my Patreon, three to five posts per week for just a dollar a month. Uh, there's a link to join Big Daddy Unlimited, which is like a buyer's club for second amendment type stuff. Just one buck gets you into the club where you'll have access to near wholesale pricing on second amendment stuff. You can check out my Teespring store with cool shirts that say things like red dots are a fad. You can check those out. And also consider following me on some of the alt tech platforms such as Odyssey, Rumble, or BitChute. There's links in the description to my presence on all of those. So starting with the specs on the dot, first and foremost, the housing is aluminum. That's important because some of these dots in this category are not. The lens is a uh, quality lens. The battery on the housing is going to be on the bottom, but it uses a CR2032 battery. And the reason that's exciting is because that has significantly more capacity to it than a CR1632 battery that all of the other optics in this category tend to use. That means you're gonna get longer run time from this particular optic than you will uh, the other competitors. Emitter. This is an open emitter design. I mean, it's not enclosed, you can see it. Uh, so it is a reflex sight style sight. It uses a motion activation sort of thing. So the sight will go to sleep if it's set at rest. And then as soon as you pick it up and move it, the shake and wake technology will kick in and the dot will be on. This is a manual adjustable sight. Uh, there is an auto adjustment sight as well in the Swamp Fox lineup, but this is the manual uh, adjustment one. And what is particularly interesting about the Swamp Fox site, and I can say this with respect to the other sites, just period, is that they actually give you good fasteners to mount the sights on your pistol. So there are only three pistols that these types of dots can be mounted on in the first quarter of 2021. It's gonna be the Canik Elite SC you see here, the Springfield Armory Hellcat, and the Sig Sauer P365XL. And to that point in the box, they give you two pairs of screws per gun. So there are four screws total for the Canik, four screws for the P365XL, and four screws for the Hellcat included right there in the box. In the box, it also comes with a soft cloth a rubber lens cover, which is actually pretty rare. Not many optic companies give you the uh, rubber cover, which is a nice little touch. And they give you kind of like a multi-tool and adjustment tool as well. What was also really cool, because sometimes the 
threads can be out of spec on the gun. They sell boxes of screws on their website directly. They gave me this pack of screws uh, and then I think this sells for about 20 bucks. And if you've ever tried to buy red dot screws, they cost an arm and a leg if you're buying them at like onesie twosie type prices. They give you like a ton of screws. Every screw you could possibly need is in this box. So if you're somebody who messes around a lot with dots on pistols, this is a pretty awesome value. Very, very forward thinking. And I think you'll see that that's a theme on how they spec out their site and uh, put it together. So let's take a look at it. The housing is aluminum as discussed. They've got their Swamp Fox logo right there on the top of the shroud. It has a very large window for a site that falls in this size category. Uh, it looks like it is a fairly robust design because it's got these little webs right here going to the back. And interestingly, they have taken sort of the Trigicon approach to having the adjustment buttons on either side and they are soft buttons, kind of like a like an old Casio calculator type button. But I really appreciate the way that they've done it. Uh, sites that have the buttons on the same side of the optic are very difficult to manipulate. So having the buttons on either side is my favorite way to do it. Now, I like this site, so I didn't Aaron Cowan the thing. I suspect if you drop it like shoulder height onto some concrete, it probably is going to shatter. And to that point, through their website, they sell what they call the iron sides. It's a shroud that actually encapsulates the optic and directs the force around it. But I think without it, it's probably a safe bet that the uh, the shroud would crack the glass if you drop, if it took a hit right on the optic body. But for all the shooting that I did with it, it stood up to the recoil fine. I have every belief that it's not going to short out on you just based on cycling recoil. And to that point, I think they have like a 50,000 round guarantee on this, but it's like a scout's honor sort of thing. So the warranty is very robust on these things. Since the battery does mount on the bottom of the housing, they do provide a weather seal that goes on the underside of the battery, kind of sandwiches between the sight body and the slide. So it keeps the battery uh, away from the elements. And as a result, I think it is like water resistant to something like, I don't know, like six meters or something crazy like that. That's not a major concern of mine for these kinds of sites, but if you're into that sort of thing, uh, it does have moisture resistance. So all in all, I think the housing is kind of good, but for the like SIG P365 XL, where there's not like a groove down the back of the thing, you do lose your rear co-witness sight. It's not an issue on this Canic where it's kind of like a lower one eighth co-witness sights, but the sights are there to co-witness. And by it picking the optic up to basically the top of the slide, it gives it makes the window more usable because the sights don't occupy very much space. So the sights actually do co-witness if the site were to go down, but I don't anticipate that it will. As far as the glass and the dot are concerned, it's a three MOA dot uh, that gets plenty bright. I had no issues with it. The glass doesn't have like a visible tint to it like the Trigicon products do. And to that result, it's not just this dot, but a lot of the other dots that don't use kind of like a green notch filter or something like that. You have to run the brightness a little bit higher than you traditionally would with like a green filter on it. And as a result, like I have an astigmatism and when it's uncorrected and I look at the dot, it, it gets a little bit starbursty. But uh, I mean, the way you get around that is you don't need as much dot as you think you do if you're using a good hard target focus when you're shooting dots. So maybe dial it down a click if it gets real bad with the star bursting and see if you can't make that work. But the clarity of the glass, there is no distortion anywhere around the edges. It is very good, but the combination is very good. I had no issue shooting the sight both on this gun and on the P365 XL that I actually carried this thing with. Getting into the actual uh, adjustments for the windage and elevation on the sight, this is where I do kind of have to ding it a little bit. It does lose points because it doesn't have those tactile clicks, uh, but a lot of the sights in this size category don't do that. So this one doesn't either, and I don't love that about it. So you actually have to look at what you're doing as you make adjustments, and you need to keep a jeweler's tipped screwdriver in your range bag. That's not unique to this site. I think honestly, all the ones I've tried in this category do that. It's not my favorite, but um, they're, since they're all doing it, it's kind of the state of play based on just how small these little housings are. My guess is that they can't get the little detents that make the little uh, click when you make the adjustments in housings this small. 
So final thoughts, but before we get there, we have to talk about the sacred relationship between I, the content creator, you, the subscriber. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and I can annoy you when future world-class firearms content drops. So I make world-class firearms content and you watch this content. As you think about your winter tanning schedule at going to the tanning salon, you decide that you're going to use sunscreen to put my logo on your back so that all of the other weirdos who are around you when your shirt is off will know of the world-class firearms content here on this channel. Uh, if you've made it this far, please go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. It really does help how the videos perform. And if you want the comparison video, I need a thousand likes in the first week to get that com three-way comparison video. So final thoughts for the Sentinel M. I don't think I mentioned at the beginning of the video, but these sites sell for just under $300. So it is kind of the going rate for a premium uh, electronic site in this category. Uh, and so that's kind of going to factor into how we judge the site. As far as features are concerned, I do think Shake Awake is the best form of technology for a manual adjustment site. I don't like the... Uh, solar panel or anything like that. I don't like auto adjusting, so the fact that it is a manual adjusting site is great. Uh, 3MOA is not my favorite. It's kind of like a large, small dot. I really think for pistol applications, a 6MOA site, and since this is a pure pistol site, I think 6 really is kind of the minimum. Maybe even an 8MOA really should be what size the dots are. But uh, as far as a 3MOA is concerned, it does a good job. Uh, it gets plenty bright, so if you're one of those people who thinks you need to make it bloom, then that option is certainly available to you. The form factor of the site is very good. When I was carrying this site, I didn't have any issues with it. I mean, I generally don't notice sights on guns, but this is a pretty small site, and on a pretty small gun, it did a great job. The overall feel of the site from just beginning to open the box and go through the contents, they give you a sticker. I mean, they give you so many extras. They really go the extra mile to make opening the box uh, almost like it's special. It's not just like opening a Glock, you know, terrible gun caboodle and it's just like a pistol in between the foam egg crate. Like that's a really disappointing experience to spend that much money and then have such bad presentation. I, I'll say emphatically that these guys have the best presentation of any of the sites that I've seen and it feels like a quality product. The adjustment is very positive on uh, the buttons that works really great. Uh, I wish it had the clicks on the windage adjustment, and I wish it took a bigger screwdriver, but I really don't have any complaints about this site. Uh, it shoots where you point it, and it does exactly what you need it to. So I think the site actually does a good job of substantiating its value. Again, it's not my beloved 6MOA or 5MOA dots, but uh, as a 3, that's better than a 2. I mean, I'll take what I can get in that regard. So I think that the site is squared away and is a very serious option. If you've got a Canic or a Hellcat, I think this is one of the better site options that you should be entertaining. So that's what I've got for you guys. I appreciate you watching. YouTube thinks that you will enjoy this video, and I've picked this one for you. I haven't decided which one it is yet, so you're going to be as surprised as I am to see what it is. I appreciate you guys, and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care, guys.